This video is sponsored by Wondershare. Having problems updating to iOS 15 or after updating to iOS 15, system repair from Wondershare can fix them for you using the standard or the advanced mode. Simply put your device on the recovery mode and you're good to go. You can easily fix problems like being stuck on the recovery mode, boot loop, Apple logo or a black screen and many more. Simply tap the start button to automatically download the firmware and go ahead and fix your problems. It even fixes problems after updating, like maybe apps crashing or things not working like they should. And if you're not satisfied with iOS 15, you can go ahead and with one click downgrade back to iOS 14 as long as it is signed by Apple. You can get it at a 50% discount by checking the link right down below in the description. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. And today I will show you guys 10 new iPhone settings that I believe no iPhone user should ever change. These are new settings that Apple has added to the new iOS 15. So if your device is running on iOS 15, make sure you never change these 10 settings. Now, before we get into that, make sure that you leave a like on this video. I would really appreciate it as that will help this video a lot. And of course, help this channel do much, much better. All right, so we're starting with notifications. So you know, on iOS 15, Apple has added new options for notifications. We now have scheduled summaries. Basically, you will get notifications at a certain point on a day, whenever you choose you get all the notifications and not get notifications through the day. But there's a very important setting that you should never change. And this is for specific apps. So there are apps that actually have support for immediate notifications for direct messages like Instagram, for example. So if I go to Instagram, I can have here a scheduled summary and I don't have to bother about missing any of the DMs because it has the option right here to enable direct messages. So whenever sends me, whenever someone sends me a direct message on Instagram, I will receive it even though I have scheduled summary on. So you get direct messages immediately. But for other apps that don't support this, make sure you don't enable scheduled summary because you will actually miss your messages, which might be important. So if we go to Messenger, for example, you can see you turn on scheduled summary and you won't have the option here to receive direct messages immediately. So there are apps that will support this. There are apps that don't support it. So make sure you don't turn on scheduled summary for apps that don't support immediate delivery for direct messages. Another thing you should never change on the notification settings on iOS 15 is right here. Go to notifications and then you will have screen sharing. You have allow notifications turned off. Make sure you keep it this way because if you're sharing the screen of your iPhone with someone, you can receive notifications and they will actually see your notifications. And if you have previews enabled, they will be actually able to even read those. So make sure you keep this off if you want to share the screen of your iPhone with someone so that you keep your notifications private. New on iOS 15 is of course a focus as well. So when you go to the focus section on the settings app, you will have here an option to enable share across devices. Now this will be enabled. Make sure you don't disable this because if you have one of the focuses turned on and you have other devices like an Apple watch, for example, or maybe an iPad or another iPhone, you will get notifications, you will get calls and all that if you don't have this enabled. By having this enabled, you will share the same focus status on all of your devices. Even if you don't even touch them, you just enable it right here on the iPhone. They will be shared automatically on all your devices. New on iOS 15 is also account recovery. Now this allows you to easily recover your account if you have lost maybe your password or something like that. You will have here a trusted contact which allows you to actually recover your data. Now this can be found at the top of the settings app, go to your Apple ID, password and security and you will have a right here account recovery. Now this is not a setting that you can turn on or off with a switch, but you will have to add your account, your contact right here. Now what you should do is tap on this button and then tap right here, add recovery contact. But what you, what you also should do is go ahead and update your devices. So let me just unlock this. 
So for this to work, you will need to update all of your devices to iOS 15. So you will get a list of your devices right here that are not updated to iOS 15. So make sure you go ahead and update all of your devices to iOS 15. And then of course you will have the ability to add the recovery contact and on any occasion you will be able to easily recover all of your data. There are a lot of new things on Safari on iOS 15. A lot of people don't even like the new Safari on iOS 15, but luckily Apple has added the option to go back to the old Safari. But there is also a new setting right here that is really important. So going to the settings of Safari on the settings app, you will find here hide IP address. You will have here from trackers. Now from trackers means that your IP address will be hidden from trackers on different websites so, so they won't be able to actually track things about you like your personal information or your location. So make sure you always have this right here enabled on from trackers and that way you won't be able to be just basically like spied or actually tracked by any website or stuff like that. Moving on to the privacy settings and right here we have a new section for focus. Here we'll find apps. These are apps that you enable to use the fo focus status on your device. So basically if someone tries to send you an iMessage they will not be notified that you have for example a focus basically is turned on like do not disturb or something like that. If you disable this you will have the option to turn this on even from the settings of iMessage but if you disable it here from privacy no one will be able to know that you have actually muted your notifications when trying to send you a message so make sure you always leave this on right here and you will probably in the future have other apps here as well so if you want to share your focus status from those apps make sure that you always keep these switches enabled on iMessage on iOS 15 we get a new setting here called shared with you so here it is shared with you now this one is actually pretty cool so automatic sharing you enable it right here so content that you get on iMessage let's say someone sends you a link they will appear on these apps so someone sent me a link I can go to Safari right here and I have a section called shared with you and they will show up here and it even shows you who has sent you that message. What you can do here is also tap right there and even reply to them directly from Safari. So content like music or maybe notes or stuff like that will be shared across your apps. Of course, as long as you have this enabled right here, you have also the list of apps which can use this feature so as easy as that you can go to safari and find there all the links and even the names of the persons who have sent you those links a pretty cool new setting has been added to ios 15 even though it's still not fully functional and that can be found under privacy go to privacy and lower here we'll find record app activity now right now you will get only the enable button right here so you have that enabled it will record the activity of apps everything that goes on which apps are using maybe your microphone your location or stuff like that have access to your data and stuff like that everything will show up here now right now this doesn't have the ui completed it should come on probably on 15.1 or maybe 15.2 but currently what you can do is save this as a file and then maybe just go ahead and take a look at the data on your mac or somewhere else but you can actually save these so you tap right there and it saves the report but for now you don't get the ui but it's really important that you keep this enabled because it will basically scan the apps and what they're using on your device and let you know which types of apps are using which type of data on your iPhone. Next, we're moving to weather. Now, weather on iOS 15 has completely been redesigned. Now, notifications on weather are really good on iOS 15. So if you go to the settings of weather and you go to notifications, you will have here all the different notifications turned on, but you might not receive alerts on your lock screen Fun from, for when it's starting raining or maybe a storm or snow or something like that because you might have turned them off from the weather app. So what you need to do is make sure you tap here and make sure you have these enabled because even though you might have all the weather notifications turned on on the settings app, if you don't enable them here, then you won't be able to actually receive alerts for weather conditions. 
And last but not least, we're talking about one of the biggest features of iOS 15 and that's live text. So if you go to the camera of your iPhone and you see that live text is not working, then you might have turned off this button right here. Go to camera and make sure you have live text here enabled. With this disabled, no live text feature will be available on your iPhone. So if you use that feature, make sure you always keep this on right here under the camera settings. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 10 new iPhone settings that I believe every iPhone user should keep on all the time. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you on the next one.